Annie, can you read me your note again, please? Sure, Molly. Here it comes again. Please take good care of our little darling. Her name is Annie. She was born on October 28th, and we will be back to get her soon. We have left half a silver locket around her neck, and we have kept the other half. So that when we come back for her, you'll know that she's our baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, now they're laughing. Do you want to sleep with your teeth inside your mouth or out? Gee, I dream of having a mother and father, but you're lucky. You, re you really got them. I know somewhere.
afternoon, Miss Hannigan, is it? Yeah. I'm Lieutenant Ward of the 17th Precinct. We found your runaway. Next time you walk out of that door, it'll be 1953. I'm Grace Carroll, private secretary to Oliver Warbucks. The Oliver Warbucks, the millionaire? Mr. Warbucks has decided to invite an orphan over for the Christmas holidays. And for the next two weeks, you're going to have a swell time. Now, Cecile will pick out all your clothes. Green is her best color. No, blue, no, I think. Your bath is drawn by Mrs. Greer. So, no bubbles, I think. Annette comes in to make your bed. So, no the sad jeans, I think. Warbucks. It's good to be home. How was your flight from Chicago? Not bad. Only took 11 hours. Grace. Yes, sir. Messages. President Roosevelt wants you to call him at the White House. Nah, I'll get back to him tomorrow. Mr. Warbucks. All right. Good to see everyone again. Sir. Grace, Mrs. Staff. Yes, sir. Oh, and Grace, if you'll get your notebook. Who is that? This is Annie, Mr. Warbucks, the orphan who will be with us for Christmas. That's not a boy. Orphans are boys. I'm sorry, sir. You just said orphans, so I chose a girl. Well, I guess she'll have to do. Annie, huh? Annie what? Um, it's just Annie, Mr. Warbucks, sir. I haven't got your last name. I'm sorry I'm not a boy. Not at all. I couldn't be happier. Grace, if we can start the figures on the iron ore shipments from Toledo to what are we supposed to do with this child? It is her first night here, sir. Well, Annie, I bet we ought to do something special for your first night. How would you like to see a movie? Gosh, Mr. Warbucks, I've never been to one. Great. Grace, forget about the dictations for tonight. Instead, you take Annie to the movies. Yes, sir. Aw, oh, gee. Something the matter, Annie? It's just that, well, I thought you were going to take me. What car will you be wanting, sir? The Duesenberg. No, wait. This child's been cooped up in an orphanage. We'll walk. Walk to the Roxy? Why not? It's only 45 blocks. Yes, sir. NYC. while the two Hannigan kins ending up on the skin. Mayor, this your life is driving me nuts. While we get peanuts, she's living fat. Maybe she hold the key, that little lady, to getting more bucks instead of less. Maybe we fix the game with something shady. Where does that put us? I'll give you one guess. I was at Tiffany's yesterday and picked this up for you. For me? She thinks, Mr. Warbucks. Uh, gee. It's a silver locket, Annie. I noticed that old, broken one you always wear, and I said to myself, I'm gonna get that kid a nice new locket. So here, we can just take this old one off. No, I don't want a new one. I know I'm real lucky being here with you for Christmas and all, but the one thing I want in this world is to find my parents and to be like kids with folks of my own. It's gonna be all right. I'll 
find them. I'll find your parents.
Now it all makes sense. Sir, Mr. and Mrs. Munch. Good morning. Merry Christmas, one and all. Merry Christmas. Oh, we don't want to bother you on Christmas and all. We've just come to pick up Annie and the check. Ah, yes, the check. The $50,000 is certified. Certified? Pay to the order of... The jig is up? Yes, the jig is up, Daniel Francis Hannigan, also known as... Brewster Hannigan, also known as Ralph Munch, also known as Annie the Fifth. And I believe that you'll find this woman is their accomplice. Uh, I've never seen these people till yesterday. <laughs> oh, come off it, Aggie. Annie, Annie, tell them how good and nice I look to you. Oh, gee, Miss Hannigan, I'm sorry. Remember the one thing you always taught me? Never tell a lie. <laughs>